What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators and a superman hat bringing you part 3 or episode 3 of the combat for dummies YouTube series on this channel. Now, in this episode we will be going over the inside outside block and the outside inside block. Run that intro. Alright, so as you may have told, noticed already, the inside outside and outside inside blocks are designed. There was a car right there. Man, I wish I wish I wasn't in this in the city where you know cars interrupt my filming. Anyway, the inside outside and outside inside blocks both block frontal attacks coming from you know attackers. So obviously they could be modified. And later I'll show you some modifications you can work on with these. But for right now, we're gonna go with you know just the basic just to get you started now something you're going to want to know is both of both the first block the inside outside block makes a circle with your arm bang it's supposed to block a punch coming directly at you just enough so that it misses your face now you don't want to waste your energy wasting energy is not helpful for anybody so blocking wah, this far out when something's coming this way isn't super helpful just block enough to keep you safe to keep the punch from reaching you you can obviously see straight line of sight it didn't reach me now if I blocked here it would have reached me this is too much this is too little just right now one other thing you're gonna want is not to let your block uh, limit your vision in any way you don't want it to be covering your eyes so Get it to the side, get it below. Don't let it cover your eyes. You wanna always see your target because if your target throws something else, you have to be ready to block something else at any time. Now, the next block we're gonna go into is the outside inside block. This one is going to start at the air and come around. This one's also blocking a similar attack for this, a similar reason. But again, make sure you don't go away out here. This is useless. This leaves so much energy. Just enough to keep you safe so you can follow through. Now. We're gonna get into the homework because uh, we're going over two video, two techniques technically, but they're close enough in similarity to that I'm gonna go over one. Now, your homework is gonna be this. Probably thinks it's really weird. I really am though. Anyway, uh, your block, inside outside block, and then a head punch, block, punch, but that's too similar to last week's homework or last episode's homework. So instead, what we're gonna do is block one, pop, pop, just like that. One more time, watch. Block one, pop, pop. Two head punches going right to the ing chun, the part below the nose but above the lip. That's what it's called, an ing chun. One, two, three, just like that. Now, your outside inside block, you're going to be stepping back with this. You're gonna step back. Now, when you step back, you're gonna take that back hand, bang, quick, quick jab punch. You're going to step back, bang. One more time, watch, step back, bang. Just like that. I'm telling you, that biker kid probably thinks I'm really weird, but it doesn't matter anyway because we are done for today. Hope you guys liked this video. If you have any questions, let me down, down let me know down in the comments. And if you're not already subscribed, so you can see when the next episode comes out. Till then, my name is DJ Moore. Run them credits.